first word that uh, comes to mind when I think about Susan is the word happy. I don't think I ever saw her any other way. Wherever people needed to know about livestock, Susan was there. Myths had to be squashed, Susan was there. She was everywhere, omnipresent. Committed, responsible and passionate. I found her to be a very warm person. Susan is also incredibly humble when it comes to her excellence in writing, in editing and in designing. A very effective person and a good person to work with. Well, the first thing which comes to mind when I think of Susan is very clear the branding of Hillary. First is caring and the second is creative. If I had to choose one, I would say committed. She has made a vocation of doing this in the traditional meaning of vocation. Not a job, not a contract, but a vocation, and one that's as sacred as any other true vocation. There was not, at that time, a very strong relationship, for some reason, between the local staff and management. So, in short, I was a little lonely when I came here. And it was that really warm, committed, sincere contributions that she made to me personally to help me communicate and do well and reach out that I remember in those very early days. And my most memorable time with her was in South Africa. She had come down to record a storyboard. And uh, what was funny is that we took a whole day to record a three minute storyboard clip. It's still available on the website, but it just shows how much she loves her job, her attention to detail. And uh, we just had a wonderful day together. Well, as board chair, it has to be the countless times that she provided support for presentation and papers about Ilri's work. One of the fondest memories I have of my Ilri days is actually the interaction with Susan in a number of meetings, planning our communication strategy. We would really have incredibly interesting ideas developed around the table, but also frequently when I was going home relatively late in the evening, I would pass by Susan's office she tended to have some sort of eclectic working hours. And so we would have frequently very interesting conversations at the end of the day, sometimes also with a glass of wine in the bar. She always was in the background, making hard things look easy and helping with the meetings that always went smoothly with, with her input. I can remember when I was in West Africa and I would come to Nairobi for the annual meeting and I would tell Susan what we were doing in the field. And by the time I'd finished that conversation, I would be more excited about my own work than I was when I started. Susan and I shared the same problem of working to deadlines. But Susan always made those deadlines. I remember one evening I was out making the rounds pretty late, I think it's 10, 30, 11, and there was a light on in Susan's office and I sort of looked in through the window, I was outside, I looked in the window and here's Susan feverishly working away. And the next morning, whenever I came into the office, I, I sort of went over and looked and here's Susan, she had spent the night and I think it actually brought a sleeping bag and had slept a few hours. I'm reminded of one of the founders of Ilka and he once said, if we don't tell them how good we are, how will they ever know? Susan has told the world how good Ilri is, and the world knows. Long may it continue. As I think about Susan going into retirement, and it's hard for me to imagine that, I, first of all, wish her health, because without health, nothing else is possible. And then I hope that she wakes up every morning with something to smile about. When we arrived in Ilri, she gave my family a basket with mangoes, with the words of a mango a day keeps the doctor away. Well, I hope she takes that recipe herself and eats enough mangoes to stay healthy. You're actually nearing 50 years of dedicating your life to improving the life of people in developing countries. 
my wishes are that you continue doing this and that in your future years, in your future decades, that you continue to provide your your caring nature, your caring personality, and your creative talents to this work. Susan, I wish you peace and contentment from knowing that what you have done and what you will do, what you'll continue to do, has been critical to the improved well-being of the world and all of us. So I can hardly really come to grips with Susan leaving and my understanding is that even though she's leaving full-time employment she will always be a part of it. My warning is that uh, if you think it means rest you are lost. You're going to work longer hours than you did in your day job but this is the best part. You'll be working on things that you enjoy doing the most. Susan all the best in your retirement. I love you and I wish you well years ahead. So I wish Susan all the best and I really thank her for her support during my years as DG at Ilry. Go well. Thank you, Susan. Susan, thank you so much for all you've done. Wishing you well, happiness, health, and prosperity. Take care. As we go off into the sunset of retirement, well, I was trying to, I'm, I've been trying to retire at the age of 80, but I'm still there part time. There's a lot of life left with a bit of luck, and um, you can have a great time with it. Most of all, Susan, a huge, huge thank you. Farewell, Susan. Stay in touch, and I am sure we are going to reconnect and work together again. My best wishes and love. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Keep smiling until then Who cares about the clouds that we're together Just sing a song and bring the sunny wind